All right, so now we're in a position to actually use our solution to the Boltzmann transport equation to calculate some properties of things. So the starting point for gases is the equilibrium distribution of um, velocity profile for, um, for the gas, um, which is given by the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, which is essentially an exponential weighting of the kinetic energy divided by kBT. Um, so for Boltzmann transport theory, all we need to do is basically take the non, what we need is the non-equilibrium um, distribution when you apply a temperature gradient. Um, that's what we're interested in. So presumably that will lead to um, a heat flux. So, uh, you know, using the usual prescription, it t the, the non-equilibrium version is just the equilibrium one plus a perturbation that involves the gradient um, of the um, non of the equilibrium distribution, which you can write in terms of the temperature dependence of the gradient and the the temperature gradient itself, you can break it apart that way. All right, then we can start writing the heat flux itself. Um, so what we'll do is I'll write that the heat flux in the z direction is the sum or the integrand over all of the contributions um, you know, of all the different possible states that are available. So I'll write this in terms of all the different possible um, velocities that the gas could be in, so all the different states. Um, and that's the integral of the number density of particles times the kinetic energy of each particle, depending on what state it's in. So that's the internal energy density times the non-equilibrium distribution for how those states are occupied times the rate at which they carry energy in the forward direction and then sum that up over all of the possible different states. Um, so then we can use the, the, uh, the Boltzmann equation uh, solution or under the relaxation time approximation to actually write that out you'll see is that there's an extra, there's two terms, one that involves the gradient portion and one that involves the equilibrium distribution itself. You can identify that the integral that involves the equilibrium distribution is obviously going to give you zero because if you didn't have a gradient, that's the only term that would appear and you know that there would be no transport with no gradient. Um, and so that one's clearly zero. You can actually plug in numbers and show that it's zero if you want to, but it's pretty obvious that it's gonna turn out to be zero. Then if you look at the stuff that's inside the parentheses here in the first term that involves the temperature gradient, you'll recognize that that stuff by definition, since it's a proportionality constant between the heat flux and the temperature gradient, that thing itself must be the thermal conductivity. So um, we've identified a formula based on you know, some stuff the, like microscopic principles that is the thermal conductivity of the gas. 